Hello folks, welcome to another edition of Yorkie Three Stripe. Um, as promised, I said I'd do a video of my top five Adidas Special tracksuit tops. True to plan, usually form, I couldn't name five, so I'm naming ten. I'm going to name ten, and believe it or not, that was difficult as well. Um, I've counted up my Adidas TTs, Special TTs, and I've got 22. So just name ten was hard enough, because that means you've got to leave out 12. So yeah, um, let's do it, let's do it. Um, obviously that's not including things like um, hoodies, uh, smocks, um, obviously sweatshirts. That's another ball game altogether. This is just plain TTs, the tracksuit top, the zip top. I'm gonna do my top 10, starting in reverse order. So number 10, you can see it there. This is the Cardell, the Cardell Bluebird. This came out in the summer, spring, summer of 18. Uh, I'll, again, I'm choosing things on what I wear as well the most. There is one or two exceptions that I don't wear too much, but I just love the, the tracksuit top. Now this I do wear quite a lot. Um, this is more of a summery tracksuit top, a real summer feel to it with the colors. Uh, the white and the blue bird, such a, a light, a lovely sharp, catches the eye blue. Love the embossed uh, on the back. Uh, looks lovely with the Finnington shorts as well. I have got the track pants, but I've actually wore this with the Finnington shorts. Um, and for me, that's a really, really nice uh, TT that they brought out. Catches the eye, very different in colour to some of the others as well. There's obviously a theme with a lot of the Spezial TTs. Very much dark blue, dark colours. But that is a real uh, unusual one because it is more of a spring summer tracksuit top. A lot of the others are more fleecy and thick and more of a winter wear, autumn winter wear. So number nine, this came out in the spring summer of 22 and that is the Anderson. Now again, very much the, the typical dark blue. Um, love the feel to it. It's a bit more of a sheen, a um, bit more of a jacket feel to it. Again, well, I say again, on the theme of the, the thick, fleecy tracksuit tops, as you can see, fleece lines. I love the pockets. This is what sort of sealed it for me, what made the top 10, because there's a lot of dark blue Special tracksuit tops. Excuse me, but this one, this one kind of just a little bit different with the big pockets. They are buttoned and you've also... You've got that option there of the zipped at the side. Really well made, I find this was. Um, this came out, as I say, a couple of years ago and definitely had to be in my top 10. I couldn't leave that one out, to be honest with you. The next one's another quite recent release. In fact, more recently, this came out in spring, summer 23, even though for me, it is an autumn winter release, really. Uh, when you look at it, it's a complete fleece. Again, a bit different. This is the first time Spezial brought out a full fleece uh, tracksuit top um it looks gray in certain light um but i would call it more of an olive green um but yeah lovely top i wear this quite a lot actually um size wise this is true to size this is an xl uh just let me go back to the anderson that was a large and i believe the cardell was a large so i do go down again like with jackets on a lot of tracksuit tops um but this one was an xl so this came out steve graham model that one if you remember only last year, well, the year before, because we're 24 now, so 22. Sorry, last year, 23. So that's a tuck hole, really nice. Let's let me double check that, actually. Yeah, it's an XL. I remember getting the large and it was a bit tight. So that was, uh, where are we at? Number eight. Number seven. We're going to the Black Samba. The one that I featured, actually, on my last video. Can't leave that out. Again, like the tuck hole, one that I wear a lot. It's got the lovely, like, knit. It's like a knitwear look, um, but it's obviously nylon. Um, really well made, going back to that era. I think it was uh, 19 this came out uh, as part of the Black Samba pack. I recently got the tracky bottoms to go with it. Um, if you remember also, the Black Sambas came out. And the one thing I've not got out of that pack is the Black Samba t-shirt, which everyone's looking for, and I'm no exception. Um, so that is number seven and again that had to be in in my top 10 could have been higher 
but they could all have been higher. I feel uh, it's an impossible task doing this. Now, the Suddle. This is the Navy Suddle. Now, this one came out autumn, winter 16. Again, you've got the fleece inside. Beautiful, beautiful tracksuit top. Lovely feel to it. Really warm. I've been wearing this a lot uh, this winter, as I did the previous winter. Went large on this one, so again, went down a size. The, the grey subtle, which came out in the last drop, I do like, um, but I couldn't have both. I had to have one, and this one for me is a, just a better make, a better made uh, tracksuit top. I like the, the fleece, as I say. The, the grey subtle that came out in the last drop was a bit more of a, for me, maybe a bit more sort of spring wear, a bit uh, thinner. Um, I like it, don't get me wrong, but no, this, this subtle for me is one of the all-time classics. And that's why it's just fallen out of the top five, but it's number six. But again, I could have easily put this in the top five. Um, so number number five, the Horwich. Now for me, this is very, very different. For me, I sometimes think of this as more of a jacket rather than a tracksuit top. Uh, this came out spring, summer 17. Um, I got the matching pants as well. And again, this actually suits the shorts the oh the names passed me by the light blue shorts i was looking enough to get a pair recently well last summer and they look really good with the shorts just like with the cardell with the finnington shorts these look really good and the names passed me by and i can't think of the name the light blue shorts um but this is a lovely lovely top quite unusual style with the two buttons there elasticated cuffs um it's quite a nice feel to it very thin Again, more of a spring summer top. The colour as well. I love the colour. I love that light blue. Um, and for me, that's one of my favourites. And as I say, I've worn that as a jacket before, um, with a, you know, with something underneath it. Size wise on that one, I went large. I did have it in XL, but it was too big. A lot of gather on the arms, uh, and that fits me spot on that one in large. So that's the Horwich Spring Summer Seventeen. I have probably gone for the older. Uh, tracksuit tops from my top five just because I think they were better made there was just that little bit more quality to them I'm not knocking the quality especially now it's still fantastic but I just like the more originality of some of these um, now this is the set end this made number four as you can see real nice real nice jacket actually again more of a jacket than a TT I think this is the set end in grey this came out in spring summer 15 it's got the little pin badge which, you know, you just don't get on tracksuit tops now. Um, it's a full zipper. So for me, that's a tracksuit top. It's got the maxing track pants as well, which I recently got. Uh, an absolute classic. I love the two the two uh, different materials. You know, you've got your stretchy uh, cotton there. Um, and then the, the dark grey, the two-tone grey. A really nice quality top that. And uh, whenever I wear it, people comment on it. Um, so that's a set ending grey, so that's coming up nine years old now. Don't wear it a lot, just because it's vintage, I don't want to damage it. But it's lovely to have in my collection, I'm really proud of these, the, that, that one. Uh, so, top three. This might surprise a few people. Um, but for me, it's one that I wear a lot. I love the navy, I love the white. And that's the forest gate. Very similar to the plet gate, which is black and white. But the forest gate is navy and white. Just the... I love the, the old school three stripes, which for me is Adidas, um, but it has got the Spezial. I've noticed Sean Rad has been wearing it a lot. In fact, I think it's the Plet Gate he's been wearing a lot recently, the black one. It might be the Forest Gate. Um, that came out spring, summer 17. So the same release, um, the same collection as the Horwich, spring, summer 17. Um, and it's such a lovely, lovely uh, top. It was perhaps one of my favourite collections that spring, summer 17, because the Horwich jacket came out. And the, the Green Haslingdon, uh, two of the coats I've still to get, actually, ironically. Um, they came out in that collection. So the Forest Gate, one I wear a lot. As I say, I think it's just the three stripes. It, you know, it could easily be just a, an old school Adidas tracksuit top. Um, but obviously Spezial uh, designed it on that. And that made my, my top three. Uh, so the top two, here we go for it. We're back to set end again. This is the brown. This came out August, uh, autumn winter 15. So this came out just before the grey. So they both came out in 15. This for me is just an absolute classic. It's the, the brown cord, elasticated cuffs. Same size, same design as the uh, the grey set end. Let me just show you both there. 
absolutely beautiful. It's got the Adidas thing on the arm, under the shoulders there, sorry, under the elbow. It's just stunning, everything about it. Um, again, you could wear it more as a jacket. Um, it's got that sort of 70s vibe, vintage vibe with a corduroy, which I've always loved. Um, don't have the bottoms for this, very hard to get. Not sure I'll probably wear it as a as a wanna together. I just think it's nice with jeans. Um, and as I say, just, just stunning. And I went, uh, what did I go with this? I went extra large, just like I did with the other set end. So more true to size, those two. Never actually had a large, um, but they do fit me fine. So that is a classic. As I say, they're both nine, coming up nine years old. Um, the set end grey and the set end brown. Uh, but it didn't make my number one. My number one, it's blue. Um, you can tell there it's an old release because it's got the treffle on the back, just like the black samba. But this is the Beckenbauer. The Beckenbauer in navy, night navy. This came out spring, summer 15. So just one of the first releases, clothing releases by Spezial. So the first clothing release, um, this is a large. I've actually got one to wear. This is a tagged, a tagged uh, tracksuit top, Beckenbauer. It's just for me, the ultimate niche um, template of, a, of what an Adidas tracksuit top should be. Um, and especially the Spezial. Blue and white Spezial for me, that is what the first color I think of when I think of Spezial. But the quality, the fit, it's just lovely. It's got the shiny collar there, reverse. Just this, like the Samba, real heavy, like knit material. The three stripes on the cuffs, the three stripes on the waist, and it just feels beautiful. And for me, I don't think you can beat that. It's just the classic Spezial or a classic Adidas tracksuit top, the Beckenbauer, um, released spring, summer 15. So that'll be 10 years old next year. So let's hope, there's, as I say in the last video, and I'll repeat myself again, let's hope we get some lovely um, releases this year, being the 10th year, 2024. Maybe they'll bring out this, some reissues, I'm sure. Um, so there we go, that's my top 10 Adidas Spezial tracksuit tops. Um, I'll keep doing my top 10s if people want it. Um, I've got a couple of deliveries coming some really exciting deliveries coming in the next week or two, which I'll do a video on. Um, and thank you once again for all your, your support. Thank you for all your comments. Let me know what your top 10 are, or top five even, if you don't want to name a 10. Uh, it's difficult, there could have been a lot more. I love the Ewood, the simplistic Ewood tracksuit top. The New Order release that came out. The Beckenbauer with the red patches, elbow and collar. Uh, the grey Beckenbauer, similar to that, but in the grey. Um, the Bidston, a lovely, lovely, t uh, unique tracksuit top, what came out, I think 16, which I really love. Um, and of course you've got the hoodies, the cardigans, but that was just the standard 10 tracksuit tops. Um, difficult to name 10, but I got there. Uh, so as I say, thanks for watching, thanks for getting this far. Until next time, cheerio.